Hey Collective, it's Alan. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight's video is going to be dedicated towards a follow-up video to the video I posted last night regarding the Cancerians, Leos, uh, Geminians, uh, Pisceans, and Scorpios, and how it was being affected by the super flower blood moon that occurred early this morning. So for this video, it's going to be a follow-up in the sense that it will be dedicated towards the following zodiacs. Aquarians, the Arians, uh, Aries, I should say Arians, Aries, um, Capricorns, and the Torians. And the reason I wanted to follow up with this is because as I was on a walk today, I kind of was wondering why I was only specifically targeting five of the Zodiacs. And so sure enough, the downloads came in to, uh, today. So I just wanted to go over this and let you guys know that when I speak to these particular individuals, there's such specific uh, downloads that I'm only assuming that it has to do with awakened souls, like I said yesterday. Awakened souls that are very spiritually minded are now finding themselves at a crossroad. If that sounds like you, then this message is dedicated for you. Essentially, if you're finding this video, then it's probably meant for you, but I'm just putting it out there that it's typically meant for the awakened souls. I tend to speak to uh, the tur uh, turquoise leadership and spiritually uh, spiritual uh, mentors and masters. So it's very interesting that I got these downloads. So let me begin with the Aquarians. Now, Aquarians are instructed at this time during this blood moon to follow your dreams with a heightened sense of intuition. Only it can guide you on this new journey that you're on. Be honest with yourself and what your heart truly desires and ensure that you protect yourself from past nostalgia that it can bring forward in order to make the motion not move as slowly as it has been. A new beginning awaits, but you must allow your intuition to take over. Your dreams are guiding you, but the question the universe has for you is, are you afraid to truly experience the joy that awaits you at the end of the road? That's a big one, Aquarius. I didn't ask a lot of details on this because when the downloads come to me, I'm not really all that nosy. But the fact that it came to me and they wanted me to say it today of all days is pretty important. So just understand that this new moon is bringing something like this up. So let me reiterate. Aquarians are instructed to follow your dreams with a heightened sense of intuition and during this full moon. You are going to experience things in a heightened sense, right? Understand that you, that only your intuition will be able to guide you on this new journey. Be honest with yourself and what your heart desires. Protecting yourself from past nostalgia will, it brings will allow you to move beyond slow motion that you've been experiencing. A new beginning awaits you, but you must allow your intuition to take over. Your dreams are guiding you, but the question that the universe has is, are you afraid to feel the true joy that awaits your truest desire at the end of this road? Okay, that's for the Aquarians. Next up, Aries. Aries needs to move beyond sentimentality at this time. Something has you stuck in a sentimental space, and it's blocking you from being able to move forward. It's almost as though a sense of emotional instability exists and is now making you face a decision that must be made in order to manifest your dreams. Discernment and patience is needed at this time in order for you to make the right judgment call. Know that it, in order to move into the unknown, you will need to do so wholeheartedly. Do not be afraid of the unknown or the dark. Know that it is part of you. The question the universe had for the Aries is, are you stuck in the past and what used to be true for you then? So let me reiterate that for the Aries. Aries needs to move beyond sentimentality on something at this time. A sense of emotional instability has you making a decision that must be made in order to manifest your truest dreams. Discernment and patience is needed at this time in order for you to be allowed to face the unknown aspects wholeheartedly. Are you stuck in the past and what used to be true for you then? Meaning that you are no longer the same person that you used to be, Aries, and this whole reset has brought you to a new place. Are you trying to make the puzzle pieces fit into an existence that does not exist anymore? Meaning the person that was once there is not you. You're going to have to let that go and face the unknown new you and the new world that you created and manifest these dreams according to what you truly want now. Capricorns. This is, this is an interesting download. Capricorns. A wish fulfillment is assured. Full speed forward. What are you up to, Capricorns? In a place of analytics, the best approach to heading forward is to choose what will lead you to your truth. 
that only your mind can see and manifest. Make sure that you follow what's in front of you and move beyond addictive behavior or shackled mindsets to keep you to the physical world. Are you tied to the physical manifestations or are you after something greater? So Capricorns, apparently you are basically about to get a wish fulfillment and it's right directly in front of you. The issue that you're having is that you are in a place of analyzing it to death and the best approach for you is to just head straight through following your sort of truth, right? Now the interesting part about it is that only your mind, and that means you specifically, not your friends or anybody else, will see the path that needs to be taken and what you need to do to manifest it. The question that they have is to make sure that you move beyond addictive behavior that shackles you to some form of 3D experience or 3D outcome. What is it that you truly want and move towards that direction? Last but not least for this particular video, because I'm going to break it up, would be Taurians. Taurians. This new moon cycle sees you begin a new quest of self-discovery. One that takes you... Oh, one that makes you be more protective of those that matter most to you. For you specifically, that has to do with family and friendships. What they're asking you to do is to ensure that your loyalty is there for them and theirs is there for you. This has to do with spiritual dynamics and dynamics within spiritual tribes. Know that all loyalty will be tested and the object of your mo biggest attention at this, tr at this time should be what makes you feel wholeheartedly as part of a family and what makes you feel truly relished and enjoyed by others. So for you specifically, Torians, it's almost as though you are re-nesting at this time and that you need to understand that you are on a quest, a new quest of self-discovery. The greatest thing for those of you who are Torians, from what I understand, is that you are all about a lot of materialism and comfort. But one of the things that you're facing now, from what I'm seeing in this download, not a personal judgment call here, um, is that you are now having to test your loyalty and have your loyalty tested as it relates to other people and that the group dynamic that you are facing at this time. Know that your new quest involves family and friendships. Pursue that open-heartedly and everything will go well for you. Um, should I stop there or should I just go on to the rest of them? You know what, bucket. I'm also going to go Sagittarius, then I'm going to do Virgos, and I'm going to do Librans, since we're going to do it all one time, since we're under 15 minutes. So, the download for Sagittarius was, Sagittarius is facing an issue on the home front. Some... Oh, some form of battles are happening in either internally or externally with two possibilities that are present before you. What is it that you are after? Are you still stuck to an old relationship that no longer serves you? Or are you interested in pursuing a new venture? The question is posed to you like this. Understand that not all that glitters is gold. And know that sometimes what you think is greener on someone else's pasture is not truly the best path for you. Only you can make this judgment call for yourself. But understand that this does affect other people and has karmic effects to it. What are you up to, Sagittarius? I'm not going to infer what came, what I, what I deducted from this download, but it appears that you possibly have two relationships in mind, one that you've been in and one that has now perked your interest, Sagittarius. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm just going by the download. Just be aware that though you have every right to leave one relationship and go for another, understand that you are taking a gamble in either direction because if you possibly stayed in the relationship that you've been in, you know it, you love it, understand it, but if it's not for your highest good, then you should take the leap of faith. But understand that not everything that glitters is gold. So you are taking a gamble either way. Only you know what mess this is about or what situation, I shouldn't say mess because that's that's judgy, um, but no, only you know how the situation is playing out and only you know the truth of things. Don't deceive yourself into believing that just because something is new, it's fresher and better. Understand that sometimes the greatest gift you can give to yourself is to be true to you and the older partner and see if that can work out. But if it's not for your highest good, take the leap of faith. Either way, 
it looks like you're being asked during this full moon to make a decision or they will make the decision for you and I didn't ask any questions about that okay don't shoot the messenger <laughs> sorry I was gonna make a bad joke but okay okay Virgos Virgoians may need to Oh, you need to. You may need to find a different approach to something difficult that has been pro that has proven to be a time of tribulations. Something that has almost stalled out needs movement and proper judgment. And in order to see the best path that suits your desired outcome, make sure that you understand that your wish fulfillment hangs in the balance. A celebration um, to be cherished awaits you, and a new journey begins. But only if you make the right decision. Only you know what the long-term effects are to your decision. And understand that your path is clearly marked. But you are the responsible party for the outcome. Again, I don't know what you're up to, Virgos, Virgoians, but I love you guys, so more power to you. I'm muzzle top. Last but not least, Librans. I'm going to move it over here. Now, Librans took up a whole fucking page. I'm just going to tell you all right now. So the Librans will be able to oh, to harness the best part of this blood moon by cutting through the facade of something with certainty and direction. Only done in a clear or only then will a clear path show itself and remove you from a blockage that has been stopping you from being able to move forward. Only you can see the path in truth. Third party situations are always uh, complicated and part of the experience. Part of the full journey that you're facing is, are you joining a new journey of discovery or are you on a journey of folly? Meaning, are you being the fool or are you going on a fool's journey? Past codependencies can only serve to hinder you at this time, and any act of victimization at this time will only bite you in the ass. Okay, I'm just saying. If you can own up to your part in all of this, then this full moon offers you a whole new path and a whole new life of emotional and physical abundance. Choose quickly, but choose wisely, as you yourself have gotten you into this situation. Understand that the divine is just asking you to stand by your decision at this time and trust yourself and your intuition in moving forward. I'm just going to say, li 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 uh, uh, I don't know how to say it, Libras. Uh, I'm just going to say this. Third party situations are always tricky, guys. So if this is true, with the doubt, well, I mean, obviously it's true, but I don't know who it affects. Understand that in a third party situation, if you are the victim in a third party situation, that the karmic tie goes to the other two. But if you are, and as I'm just saying this, I'm not trying to be all judgy, but as an, as an elder, I'm just going to point out to you that if you are either the third party person who was married to someone else and is now stepping out on, on their partner, or you are the person that is being stepped out with. Both of you now have a karmic tie to the other person. So be quick about it and understand that your choices have long-term effects that maybe you're not aware of. If it is your happiness, then your heart will do what it needs to do. But only you know the truth of what you're after and who you truly are. Understand that we are at a reset. And understand that if you are truly awakened, then you understand that the cost to this type of karmic imbalance is a lot steeper than it used to be so choose wisely and that my friends is the downloads that i got for the remaining zodiac i had intended to do a whole video dedicated towards the tarot and kind of how that affects the simulation and the simulation theory of how that helps people find spirituality and how they manifest their own you know it's the cause and effect type of thing and so i was going to do that but the divine wanted to ensure that i gave the proper time to those of you who are part of the other zodiacs um if you guys want to know more about the cancer leo scorpio Dominion and Piscean uh, read. Please look at the uh, video that preceded this one from this morning. And then for the rest of I hope that this information and downloads helped you out. I don't know why sometimes I get these, but I just know that it's part of my calling. The one thing I will say in concluding is, guys, those of you who are in the collective, who are especially those of you who are awakened, understand that our gifts are advancing and a lot of things are changing in our in our world. So you might be meeting new people and having better experiences than what you used to have. But understand that you may have to do a couple pivots here and there at this time and understand that any type of physical part of ascension is just it's just part of ascension 
make sure that your choices that you're making now, especially the ones that reflect in these downloads, are for the highest part of you and understand that everything has um, a cause and effect to it. Ensure that you're living your highest good and you make sure that you are doing the best you can to not hurt other people. Um, a lot of people aren't awakened like you are, so understand that the, the cost to foolishness at this time for us is a little bit different, if you, would, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'm not going to go on a tangent about it. I hope this made sense to you. For your awakened, oh, awakened, awakened souls, have a great night. And for the rest of you, I will follow up with a tarot reading probably tomorrow for each of the zodiacs, and it'll be a full spread. Because um, I want to show people how I do it. But anyway, have a great night. Bye.